morning, students, staff, family, and friends. My name is Chase Daniels, and today I will be talking to you about music, musicals, and an artist who has inspired me. Raise your hand if you like country music. Raise your hand if you like alternative music. Raise your hand if you like pop music. Raise your hand if you like me and like all kinds of music. If you do, that's perfectly normal and good for you. If you only listen to one kind of music, you'll never be able to see what else is out there. Lots of songs have the same chords. That's what makes the songs catchy. So many artists use clips from other songs to help their music to become more popular. This video is an example of that. Fireflies popping like a fourth of July, yeah. Breeze blowing in, your hair blowing round. You're scanning through the stations looking for that country sound. Trucks jacked up, flat bills flip back. Scoring down his right. Music can make you feel like doing all kinds of activities. Music can make you feel like dancing. Now, somewhere out there, there's probably more scientific explanation for this, but I wanted to have some fun with my chapel, so here's a video of the eighth graders completely embarrassing themselves. <laughs> Music can make you feel like singing in the car. Whenever my car gets awkwardly quiet, we always turn on the music and start singing. We sing songs from Halsey to Carrie Underwood. Sometimes my sister and I would act out songs from the musical Hamilton, but we'll get more into that later. Music makes you feel like doing homework. I know there are studies out there that say it gets you distracted, but did you know that classical music can help you concentrate? Yes, it's true. You could also listen to some music that is related to your homework. There are math songs, science songs, history songs, and French songs that can help you concentrate and get you in the mood to do your homework. Music makes you feel like working out. Whenever you're at the gym, do you really want to hear people gasping and dropping barbells? Or do you want to hear an upbeat song that can get you in the mood and get your energy up? Whenever I'm working out, I always listen to music. It helps me focus and limits the distractions of a gym. Music makes you feel happy. Whenever you feel sad, music can lift your spirits up. This year, I found out that I can sadly not work at my summer camp. I cried in my car for what felt like forever. Then I asked my sister Anna if she would turn on the radio. She returned it to a country station. Within seconds, I was singing screaming to Blake Sheldon. Music can make you feel sad. Music can make you feel sad in many ways. Whenever I watch a movie, there's always a sad scene in there that makes me want to cry. The editors put in sad, music, sad songs or dramatic music to make the audience feel connected to the sadness that the movie is expressing. This happens a lot in Disney movies when a character loses someone close to them. It really, as they say, tucks at the heartstrings. Music can make a difference. It can bring us all together. If you're at a dance and awkwardly standing on either sides of the floor, boys on one side, girls on the other, a song like the Cupid Shuffle can come on and within seconds everyone is on the floor dancing along. That shows that music can make a difference because there are shy people in the world who are insecure about the musical talents. Events like dances and open mics can help them make, you, can make, you, make them feel better. 
There are tons of different cultures of music in the world, and lots of people aren't aware of it. In my music class, Mr. Smith teaches us about different genres so we can be more cultured in music. As I learned from my friend Evelyn's Make a Difference project, many schools in America are cutting music programs for budget reasons. In some schools, one year art is offered, the next year only music is offered. In some parts of the world, children have never even had a music class before. When musicians travel to other countries to meet people who are less fortunate, they are spreading their talents to places they don't have that much. It, make, it can make a difference because music can bring us all together. Musicals have also been an important part of my life. When I was seven, I went with my family to New York to see The Lion King on Broadway. I remember being completely mesmerized by the music and the performance. I was part of my local theater's production of 1001 Arabian Nights when I was nine as a member of the stage crew. Over the past five years, I have seen multiple plays there and at various theaters. There is one that stands out in my mind. Last summer for my birthday, my family and I went to New York City to see Hamilton at Richard Rodgers Theater. Before the musical, we went to this diner called Ellen Stardust Diner. This is a restaurant where the waiters sing to you. I've heard a wide range of songs being sung. I heard a male waiter sing all of the parts of Beauty and the Beast, and a woman did an amazing cover of Taylor Swift's I Did Something Bad. The show Hamilton was absolutely magical. When the last song was finished, I have to admit it, I was crying. After we left the theater, we waited at the backstage door, not so patiently waiting for someone to come out. Then, it happened. The young man who played Philip Schuyler Hamilton walked out. If you're not familiar with Hamilton, he is Alexander and Eliza Hamilton's son. Guess what? He signed my program. I will never forget that moment. There are a lot of inspirational artists in the world, but there is one artist who has inspired me, Taylor Swift. Here's some background information on Taylor. Taylor Allison Swift was born on December 13, 1989 in Reading, Pennsylvania. She was raised on a Christmas tree farm with her brother Austin. She attended preschool and kindergarten at Alvernia Monastery School. She went to the Wincroft School until moving to Wyoming, Pennsylvania. She has 12 al albums out currently, and she is officially on her reputation tour. Taylor was the artist, artist that made me want to play guitar. The first song I learned from her was Fearless. She has inspired me to not listen to not only listen to one kind of music. Taylor started out playing country music, then she turned pop, now she's on a song called Babe by a, sugar, by a country group called Sugarland. Now I know some people, people think that Taylor writes only breakup songs, but she writes other songs as well. She has a song called 15. This song is about going to high school and growing up. This song is very close to me because next year I will be in high school. Also, I'll be turning 15 this summer. This song reminds me that next year I will be in a new part of my life. She has inspired me to listen to more music and play guitar. When I was younger, I listened to musicians like Train and Selena Gomez. When I was in first grade at my old school, we had a variety show. I was going to sing Take Me Out to the Ball Game, but when I got on stage, I walked right back off. I was completely terrified. I tried to get off stage, but the curtain wouldn't open, so I faced my fears and sang. It wasn't the greatest song, but hey, music gave me the confidence to sing in front of everyone. I know earlier I embarrassed the eighth grade, but I'm pretty sure this will make it even.
learned to play guitar after hearing my dad play the ukulele. I had a guitar from a friend of mine, but I had no clue how to play it. I would sing random Taylor Swift songs and just strum the guitar. Eventually, my parents got me lessons, and flash forward a few years, I know actual chords. I am who I am today because of Taylor Swift's music. She gave me confidence and inspired me to play guitar. Now, I will leave you with a quote. People haven't always been there for me, but music always has. Taylor Swift, thank you and have a great day.